were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading, I guess. All right, we're here. Okay, Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, um, when I was meditating off camera for you, I got like um, somebody was kind of like sitting down and then like a, a snake was like coiling around their, you know, their arm, their wrist. So I don't know, I'm getting like, um, maybe some of you feel trapped or you feel stuck or like something is getting, I heard like harder and harder to breathe. Like, um, I don't know, maybe you feel as if you are stuck, bound to, tied to, handcuffed, maybe even to a situation, a person, place, thing. I don't know. Let's get into it. Let me know how that resonates for you down in the comment section. Do you feel that way? Um, also the snake can be indicative of, you know, knowledge maybe you're learning something you know um maybe more and more you learn more and more you know it's getting harder and harder for you to tolerate maybe uh the ignorant those who are absent of uh, of knowledge so let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna start with your situation what's going on for aries then we're gonna get what's external to you to get some advice for you and then we're gonna close it out with some future energy let's see happening for Aries okay the four of swords because okay I like laundering a plan for the future so thinking of something that you can do for the future taking time out to actually do this maybe rest relaxation meditation this could even be vacation all occasions right um this is rest this is break this is a time this is a make it or break it time um something could be tough right now it's either yes or it's going to be no at this point it's very fragile okay this could be in regards to home and stability um where you spend a lot of time this could be work okay uh, let's see what else is going on here for aries what's happening for aries what's happening what is the situation for aries okay these cards want to come out okay so we got the high priestess upright to pentacles the king of cups all right so this looks like some of you could be like in a medical profession or a profession where you um you, you deal with a lot of different personalities okay you know that a decision needs to be made here you're weighing up the pros and the cons weighing up the cost in regards to making a decision what you're going to do i heard are you going to strike out on your own or are you going to find something else you could also be going to someone you're trying to find emotional balance in regards to making this decision though you don't want it to be emotional okay um you know that you you it's a deciding factor you know you need to do something you know it needs to be done you know that um right now also you could be learning a lot okay because the snake is indicative of knowledge you know gaining knowledge awareness right um intuitive awareness like you just can't be around people who are just not aware of themselves, self-awareness, aware of their attitudes, aware of, you know, spirituality. 
Some of you could be delving into a spiritual practice here. Some of you, your mind has changed in regards to maybe a commitment, a partnership. Okay. Uh, you could just be going through the motions, weighing it all up, trying to figure out if you can separate, if you can go your own way. There could be a lot of juggling, maybe even with your money, transferring money from one account to another, looking over your statements, getting something in order, profit and loss, reconciling also what is going on here. You got a lot going on. Um, others looking in would say it's way too stressful, but it's like you've got a handle on it because you know that if you can maintain this, if you can grow this, you'll have stability that um, what you do in the two of pentacles right here is going to show up in the four of pentacles when you have stability, newfound wealth. Okay. Um, so some of you just know, I just got to maintain this right now. And then I will have newfound wealth. I will have money. I will come to a different, you know, standing in my finances. Some of you are trying to maintain emotional balance in regards to maybe, um, juggling a lot. This is also uh, different personalities coming up. So you have to have find balance dealing with all these different personalities, emotional balance while still being aware of self. This could be how you come off to others. So it's like you're, you're trying to not even pander or try to, you know, um, yeah, not, a, not pander to, but you definitely, this is like tact also. There's something, some creative endeavor that you do that you deal with all these different energies to where you have to be tactful. Or you have to understand how you're coming off to. How you're being received. Are you being well received? Um, there's a lot going on in terms of career and finance, what you do on a day to day basis. Okay, you're trying to to just be um, as emotion uh, as emotionally uh, balanced about it as you possibly can be. You don't want to jump to being unbalanced and you know frantic, and then you're not you know involved in any ration or rationale. Let's see what is external to you. Aries, what is external to Aries? So this could be like, um, this also could be juggling. This also could be being juggled too. You know, having maybe be the other woman. Okay. This person puts you on pause, puts you on hold. It's like you, you, you are playing your part, knowing your place. You know, this person is trying to do two different things or engage in two different relationships at the same time. This could be you, Aries. It could be a married man. Or you could be dealing with a married man. Someone who has a family obligation elsewhere. Someone who keeps their love flowing and open to many. What is external to Aries here? What is external to Aries? The Ten of Cups. Somebody had, does have a family where they're acting happy. I don't know if they're 100% happy uh, or fulfilled, but you know, um, this is somebody who puts on the airs, who put, will put on um, to the world, to anyone looking, to anyone who cares, they will uh, put on that happiness rest with them. But it's, um, it's falsehood. It's like this person is performing. We do have like a performer or we have somebody here Okay, we got somebody on stage. Somebody knows that they're being watched. Therefore, they're keeping it all up in the air. This is what's happening external to you. Somebody, you could be dealing with somebody's husband or somebody's dealing with somebody's husband or you guess your husband's dealing with somebody and your husband knows that they're being watched or you, the man you're dealing with knows he's being watched. He's got to keep it all up in the air. He's got to show people that, you know, his home life is... 100% happy is the perfect life but he also has to kind of keep the side person maintained or well maintained or, or keep them happy to a certain extent also or this blowing cover could also be out so they could blow somebody's cover or blow up their spot or you know whatever 
um, it's like this person is on stage. The Ten of Cups talks about the stage being set for happiness. It's about performing. So this person is really, yeah, performing and judgment here. So what is happening here external uh, from you, uh, Aries, is that somebody is under judgment. This is got all these two showing up, two, two, two. So somebody is definitely being watched every single day. Somebody's got an inkling. They have a um a spidey sense their intuition is telling them that maybe their husband or boyfriend or somebody is doing something they're not supposed to be doing um or vice versa this is in regards to you aries someone is telling you know your person is telling themselves aries is doing something they're not supposed to be doing engaging in something they should not be engaging in let's see the ten of wands so we got so we got something ending, you know, the breakthrough. This could even be secret out. Yeah, four of wands. The secret could be out that somebody has a lot of different women or they're dealing with a lot of different women or dealing with a lot of different energies or that they're already married or they're already coupled. Um, secrets out that somebody has already reconciled with somebody that they said that they cut off. Yeah, something is out here. What is the advice for Aries? Let's see what the advice for Aries is. So you, some of you may be called back to an old position also. Or somebody, um, may, oh, okay, so maybe you interviewed somewhere and... You, they didn't give you the job, they gave it to someone else, then they may kind of call you back. They had you a second stream or you know, second pick here. Let me call you back and see if you're still open for the opportunity. Um, there'll be cause to celebrate in regards to this also. Um, let's see. There's somebody you separated from, Aries, and it's making you extremely desirable to this person. This person is trying to figure out if they should come to you, if they should initiate. They're trying to weigh up uh, the pros and the cons of coming in and initiating contact with you um, because they do have a love for you. I don't know if it's singular though. This person may have a love for a lot of different people. Um, they may want you in their life in some capacity. Yeah, what is external to you is that this person definitely found a lot of happiness resolved with you. What is hap? Yeah, and they may want the relationship back. They want to tell you this. Uh, they want to lay their burden, that, their burden down and tell you this and also reconcile with you. This might be somebody who's still in a relationship or still keeping up a lot of BS. Uh, the a advice for you is the sun card. Okay, so um, with the sun card, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of joy happening for you right now. Let the sun in. Um, let the universe um, dote on you, shine on you. Let knowledge come to you also. Um, being that childlike spirit to where you can receive, you can manifest faster. Um, release all of the uh, hurt from your heart. Clear your heart chakra. That is where we manifest from, for the desires of our heart, right? So we got to clear our heart chakra. So yeah, tower can't make it up. Let the tower happen. Let it fall. Let everything fall apart that it's supposed to fall apart and fall away from. The tower comes when we're holding on to situations, relationships, situationships, whatever, that just doesn't serve us, okay? It's getting us nowhere fast, and we're still hanging on to it for whatever reason. We don't want to let it go. It says in the rubble, in the midst of it all, if it's falling down, you will be able to rebuild, and you'll see clearly. You couldn't see because that tower was a falsehood also. Scorpio coming up deep transformative change okay deep emotions also for something or someone or someone has this for you this is the advice here let something fall because the universe is really trying to get you to a place of happiness abundance uh, longevity marriage pregnancy happiness whatever that looks like for you okay um also this tower has historical reference so you've been here before back to trying to keep something up that needs to fall down so you know let's see what else aries advice for aries advice for aries 
the devil Ooh. The, the tower and the devil sudden upheaval brings a choice don't be extravagant in your choice okay yeah don't be too extravagant in your choice make sure you choose wisely make sure you choose something that will not entrap you okay back to that snake going around your your wrist um feeling like you're going to be stuck or trapped there's somebody here who all of a sudden could come out of the blue who wants you to come out and play they want no strings attached carefree connection because some of you have separated yourself from this person definitely could be same sex or it is this is an energy of somebody's already couple married got obligations somewhere else and they want to have fun with you the devil sometimes can stand for childishness fun the sun card definitely fun carefree connection something that will bind you okay um maybe you getting back in with this person you'll be bound to them there is love or there's devotion or there's likeness that you have for this connection or for this person therefore it's going to be hard for you to get out of it with the devil card here where are we gonna go i i completely went absent they're absent-minded maybe this person yeah when they come back into your life or you go back into their life you, you just make them absent-minded or they make you absent-minded you just lose focus on what you need to be doing where you need to be all right let's see what is the future energy for aries here you got nothing but majors in, in, in your advice here okay don't allow yourself to be willingly deceived also you know you know that something is not good for you back to you know choices with the devil card um, make sure you don't you're not extravagant in your in your choice you know um, let's see what's the future energy for Aries future energy for Aries you got two cards coming out desperation no de despair that de could definitely be desperation and unexpected income I'm reading this as somebody's desperate and, and, and you may receive an unexpected message from them, okay? Maybe even a gift. This person wants you to take them out of their misery. Keep in mind, guys, a lot of times when we engage in these third-party situations, especially with married individuals, that married person is miserable in their marriage or there's unhappiness or something is going on in their marriage. And instead of going to counseling or talking about what's going on in their marriage they find that what is best for them to do is go find a third party bring them into the fold and now they have an outlet a positive outlet an escape and that is what the third party is an escape a positive outlet for them to do get what they want or what they're not getting at home or in their marriage. So a lot of times when you are the third party, all you're doing is prolonging a miserable connection. So all the promises of the person, I don't want a divorce, I'm leaving them. All you're doing is helping this person stay in that misery. So the best thing to do is not even get involved in it or hand a person an invoice after every time you meet them just hand an in, this is my invoice i'm keeping you in your miserable marriage you owe me um let's see what else do we have for the future energy for aries marriage can't make it up okay yeah so um and it's a three so it's like somebody is desperate and out of the blue you know they offer you something very small you know because the unexpected income talks about not big money you know, so, it's, you know, it's a little something to get you by, but it also talks about in terms of love, it talks about unexpected message. Some of you have tied yourself to a business or a company. You didn't expect for it to be so drama filled, so devoid of um, peace, you know, so void of peace. Like, um... And you kind of tied yourself to this okay and you feel like you're underpaid here you know you're doing a lot and you're underpaid um so you kind of feel like you're in a place of um needing to release or come up with a plan we see you planning up here laundering uh, an endeavor a plan for the future right so then for love you got somebody coming back they're coming back under their 
they want what they want from you, you know, and if you're willing to give it, they'll take it. And they want to engage with you. They want you to be married to this um, devilish, you know, energy. They want to uh, reconcile with you or have reunion with you while offering you a little of nothing, okay? Yeah. They see that you're not occupied on them or your occupation um, is on something else. It's not on them. They also... Um, Some of you, it's your job. You just didn't know that you were signing up for this. You signed up for something that was completely adverse to what you got. And you just, you don't, you're trying to find a way to get out of this. Release the burden here. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. If you're a business minded individual and you want to connect with other business minded individuals, then you can sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going conference call that we do monthly, monthly where we uh, we talk about, you know, uh, advice, valuable advice for startup. If you want to start your own business or to maintain and grow your business also, um, you can also book your complimentary discovery call if you would like to become a business owner if you are a business owner you're trying to further your uh, business endeavors uh, book your discovery call the link is in the description box you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time and uh, if you took something from the reading you could buy me a coffee i love coffee you yeah. know maybe a little too much uh, the link is below. It says, buy Ella Coffee. Um, and shout out to um, the cities that have a lot of viewership, high viewership. Uh, I think it's on New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Houston, Philadelphia, and London. So thank you to all of you out there uh, in those uh, cities, those towns. Um, thank you again. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.